Time boxing legend Johnny Tapia is wrapping up right now as thousands of family, friends, and fans, and even some famous faces, gather to mourn his vida loca. It was a packed pit for Johnny Tapia's memorial service tonight. 6,800 people showed up to honor the 45 year old legendary boxer who died a week ago. News 13 Scott Daniels tells us about other boxing greats and famous friends who spoke tonight about Tapia. He's live at the pit. Jessica, thousands waited outside the pit for the doors to open so they could see Johnny Tapia. Actually, the line started at 7 o'clock this morning. As the doors opened at 6.30 in the evening, the crowds poured in. They chanted his name. The body of the five-time world champion laid inside a closed casket, which sat in a boxing ring at the center court. Everyone got a chance to walk by and pay their respects to Johnny Tapia. A handful of speakers spoke to the crowds, sharing fond memories they had of Tapia, including our own News 13 Van Tate. Al Hurricane Sr. also performed. Mayor R.J. Berry shared a story about Tapia, how they played basketball together in the 80s. We go to Rio Grande High School to play basketball with Johnny. All I can remember was running down the court, Johnny running down with me, except he was running circles around me while we were running down the floor. Other boxing greats, such as Oscar De La Hoya and Mike Tyson, gave their condolences to the family of Johnny Tapia through a video message. He was just always a wonderful guy with so much energy, man. He was nonstop, man, and um, he was just a wonderful person. Now, half the seats inside the pit were filled up. The memorial is still going on right now. APD is in the parking lot, making sure everything goes smoothly out here as it did inside. Back to you. Long night out there. Thank you, Scott. There was also a private memorial for family and close friends earlier in the day. The Tapia family paid for tonight's memorial service. We still don't know how Johnny Tapia died. The police report says Tapia had been complaining of stomach pains the day before his death and again a few hours before his body was found in his bedroom exactly a week ago. Police found a bottle of Pepto Bismol near Johnny's head and a small yellow pill near his feet. It could take two months or more for toxicology test results to come back.